Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post where we talk about some of the new products that we have for the week here at SparkFun Electronics. Uh, let's see what we have for this week. So first up, we've got the last bit of cubelets to talk about. Uh, last week we talked about these eight and we've got these other eight to talk about. So these are all 16 of the cubelets that we have on the website. These are all sold individually and we also have a kit where you can buy um, an assortment of six of them. The colors indicate what the cubelets do or what their purpose is. All these clear ones or white ones as we talked about last week, those are output cubelets. Those actually do something like the drive cubelets or the rotate cubelet, things like that. Um, this week we've got four of the black cubelets and the black cubelets are input cubelets. So they have um, some sort of sensor, some sort of input on them. Um, this first one is the brightness cubelet. This just has a very simple light detector on it. Um, we've got the temperature cubelets. The temperature obviously measures temperature. Um, we've got the distance cubelet, which is just a simple range finder. And then we've also got the knob cubelet, which is a basic knob. Looks like this. The rest of the cubelets here are um, brain cubelets or think cubelets. Um, the minimum is interesting. So if you have a value coming in and then you want to do an action based on that value, you know, like with a drive cubelet, the minimum will only pass the minimum value. And then that goes along with this next guy, which is the maximum cubelet, which does the exact opposite. It will only pass a value if it's the maximum value. So you can do some really basic logic with that in that you can kind of filter what values you're going to react on. And of course, like last week, we had the inverse cubelet. You could use some combination of that to do different things. Um, we've also got the battery cubelet, which powers all of these. You need at least one battery cubelet to do anything. And then we've also got the Bluetooth cubelet. The Bluetooth cubelet has an app to where you can basically use it like an input, um, but you can control like the LED, control the drive, things like that. This is something I came up with. It gives you an idea of just how they snap together. Um, I've got a rotating cubelet right up here. I've got a drive cubelet on the bottom. I'm just using these cubelets on the end to kind of stabilize the whole thing. And then I've got the um, knob up here to control my speed. There you go. So we, we could play with these forever and there's so many different combinations of how they can all go together and what you can do with them. Um, when we first came out with Cubelets, the founder of the company actually came out here and gave us some demonstrations and we'll link to that video um, at the end of this so you can um, get a better idea of how all the Cubelets work together. Next up we've got the Meta Watch. We've got it in two different colors. We've got it in the black and the white. The Meta Watch is an open source watch that you can custom program and do whatever you want with and it has a lot of interesting hardware inside. The basic chip is the MSP430 from Texas Instruments and they have a nice little programming port here on the back so you can use the accelerometer, the Bluetooth and um, the other features of the watch and custom program it. Now the watch comes standard um, just like this. We have paired this um, with a Bluetooth phone. So you can see that uh, we have a calendar down here. We have the time, we have the local temperature here, and then we actually have the battery power of the phone that it's connected to. And we can cycle through a different uh, menu to show the time. And here we've got some stock quotes and some other things. And then we can even access the music from the phone as well. So it comes with a USB cable. In addition, it comes with this little clip. This actually clips onto the watch itself. We've got some little teeth here at the bottom, and those teeth match up with these pins here. And now you've got a charger and programmer, so you can actually connect this into your computer and program it like that, or charge it. Each one of these watches actually comes with a serial number for the TI Code Composer library. So you can you don't have to buy any software, you can just use the serial number that comes on each one of these and start programming it and hacking it in the Code Composer. The idea behind the Meta Watch is that your phone's always in your pocket and it's kind of, you know, out of sight, out of mind, but you get a lot of texts, you get a lot of calendar alerts, and you get emails and other things like that. So the idea is that with something like this on your wrist, well, let me do the black one, something like this on your wrist, you would get all those notifications on your watch instead of on your phone. So your alarm, your text messages, things like that could show up on your phone versus you know having to reach in your pocket the whole time. 
Um, but in addition to that, you also get access to all the hardware in this, so you can write custom applications and you can do some interesting things with that. Um, they do have a um, good amount of information on how to develop with this watch, and we've even written a small tutorial to get you started. We even have a teardown where we've cracked one of these things open and show you what's inside of it. So definitely check out the rest of that documentation um, to see how to start using these. Um, our engineer Jim even found a way to hook a Bluetooth mate up to an Arduino and pass some information back and forth. There you go, the MetaWatch. So here at SparkFun, we're continually scouring the planet for new products, and it brings us to some really interesting places. And these next products really have a great story behind them. Um, I was on this trek through the um, South American jungles, just you know, looking for the next cool technology that's out there. And um, we get over this ridge, and there is this little village um, down in the jungle. And we decided to go down there, and you know, we're meeting with the people, shaking hands. You know, they're checking out our stuff. We're checking out their stuff. And the um, village leader actually comes over to me, and you know, everyone kind of parts out of his way, you know, for him to come up to us. And you know, we shake hands and you know, exchange pleasantries. And he has this leather satchel on his waist, and he opens it up, and he pulls out this knob. And so I pick it up and start looking at it. You know, the craftsmanship is good. It has a nice, um, you know, metal ring here, and it has the plastic. And then it struck me. I look up. We make eye contact. And he looks at me and he says, see, which I learned later actually means yes. And I realized that this knob actually goes to 11. I just had this um, look of astonishment. And I look at him and he says, uno mas, one more. You know, most knobs stop at 10, but this is one more than that. So if you need more current, more voltage, whatever, you've got one additional with this knob. And um, this is the only size that he carried, so we actually went through that whole valley and we found another village that carried this medium size and then a third smaller village which carried this little guy. And um, you know, we bought up a good supply of these and brought them back here to the United States and they're fantastic. I've been putting them on my barbecue grill, my oven, everything, uh, my bench power supply, and I'm getting like 10% more out of everything. Um, it's, it's literally saved me thousands of dollars. These knobs are fantastic, and if you need that extra push over the cliff, check out the GTE goes to 11 knobs. So these are some of the new products we have for this week. We hope you liked what you watched, and um, we hope that you tune in next time. Definitely check out the Meta Watch, definitely check out the individual cubelets, and if you need that little extra push, definitely check out the GTE knobs. See you next week.